Hi everyone, this is Mukta Sharma. Welcome to my channel, Testing Insights by Mukta Sharma. In this video, we will be talking about what is a test case, what is expected result, what is actual result, what is test steps, what is all about test case and test case execution. This is mainly for freshers. If you are an experienced professional and watching this video, then if you think anything more needs to be added to this video, please comment below so that it will help others. Right. So what is a test case? Test case is a step-by-step -step procedure to validate the functionality of a particular user story, to validate the functionality of a particular business function requirements. When you write a test case, you write a step-by-step -step description of how to validate a particular user functionality. For example, suppose you want to test the functionality of a login feature. So how will you write the test steps? You will say enter username and password with some valid and invalid combinations and then click on login button to validate that the login button is working fine there are other ways there are multiple scenarios which you can identify to validate the particular functionality in this case which is login functionality whether the login is working fine or not so this is just as an example you will write all these steps in order so that it will be uh, easier for anyone to understand what is the main function of this test case now you have expected result and actual result. Expected result, you know this beforehand. When a client gives you business function requirement or um, software requirement specification document or user story, they specify, they clearly mention that what is expected out of that user story. So depending upon that, you have to design your test case and you know this expected result, right? You know this beforehand, whereas actual result, you don't know it beforehand. You have to run your test case. You have to ex execute your test case in order to find the actual result. So you have a test case. That means you have a step-by-step -step, um, order of the test case. What needs to be validated? You know the expected result, right? So now it comes to execution. You have to execute what you have in hand, what you have um, written in order to validate this login functionality. So when you execute and you get that result, that is called as actual result. Now you have expected result, actual result. You will compare these two. If both of these are matches, if both of them are matches with each other, then it's a pass. Then you will say that particular login functionality is working fine. There, is, there are no issues in testing particular login functionalities. But if there is any anything which is not working fine, if ex expected result and actual result does not match with each other, then that means it's a defect. That means something is not uh, properly built or some other issues is there. So you have to raise that defect and you have to mention uh, why in which scenario you find you find that the particular login button is not working fine right so this is about test case expected result actual result uh, test steps and how do you raise your defect i hope this is helpful if you have any more doubts regarding test case and expected actual result then comment below we will discuss it i have seen this question is being asked to not only uh, freshers but to experienced professionals so it's very important to understand how to explain test case in an interview as well i hope this is helpful thank you and i will see you in the next video bye bye